When buying a used laptop, here's what really matters. Maybe for school, for work, or for everyday stuff. You've probably seen a lot of cheap options online and thought this might be a good deal. But here's the truth. Some of these deals are total disasters waiting to happen. Today, I'm going to show you what to check, what to avoid, and which laptop still performs really well in 2025. I've got three solid examples right here. I have the HP ZBook Firefly G8. I have the Dell Latitude 7420 and I have the HP ProBook X360 11 J2 EE. Let's dive into it. New laptops are getting expensive every year. But what most people don't know is that some of these business laptops that companies lease and return are absolute gold mine. These laptops were built tough and originally sold for over $1,000 and you can now find them for a few hundred dollars. And the best part, they are often more repairable and upgradable and last longer than the flashy laptops in stores today. So let's break it down using these three laptops I have right here. The HP ZBook Firefly G8. This is a sleek, premium, and great for creators. The Dell Latitude 7420, solid, dependable, and balanced. The HP ProBook, X60 11 G2 EE. Budget, convertible, ideal for students. When buying a used laptop, here's what really matters. Performance, aim for at least eight gigs of RAM and an SSD, not an HDD or hard drive. This ZBook and Dell here have 16 gigs of RAM and 512 SSD drive, which is perfect. So battery life. When buying a used laptop, you need to always assume that the battery is worn out. Make sure you request the battery life cycle from the seller you are buying from online. Make sure the person sends you a screenshot of it. But just in case you are buying from a, a physical shop, here's how to check. What you do is you hold the Windows key and you press X with, together, Windows X. So this is going to show up. Then you're going to go to terminal, so you can use Terminal Admin or Terminal, the first one. So I'm going to use Terminal Admin. This dialog box is going to show up. Then I'm going to click on Yes. So once this shows up, you're going to type power CFG space forward slash battery report, then press Enter. So what this is going to do is that it's going to save the battery report to a file in the lo your local drive C. This is the part. To access this, you open the local drive C, then you go to users, then you go to your drive. So here I have the Firefly G8 here. So this is the battery report which has been saved here in my like a Chrome browser here. So all I need to do is just double click on it and it is going to open. So this is the battery report that shows me uh, the cycle count. So the cycle count of this battery is 40 and it shows as the capacity, design capacity, and the full charge capacity. If you scroll down, it will show you the recent usage. Everything here, you can just look at it really well. For this laptop, the ZBook here, the cycle count of around 40 is perfect for a used laptop. You know, and it shows you the battery usage history. You can scroll down and look at the usage history, the battery capacity. But the most important thing here is the cycle count. A cycle count which is above like 200, 300, and even a thousand is, is a red flag. It should be maybe below 100 or 150. So please check that before you buy a used laptop. That's how to check the battery life cycle count and the battery health of your used laptop anytime you are buying from a local shop or you have the person who is selling it in front of you. I'm going to include this the code. I'm going to include it in the description below if you want to copy it. Second one is the new batteries are easier to find on business laptops than on gaming laptops. So anytime you're buying a used laptop, be careful with gaming laptops because they commonly have battery issues. So always prioritize buying a business laptop because their batteries are easier to find on eBay or on other Oka online marketplaces. Upgrades and repairs. Research is crucial. Can you upgrade the RAM or the SSD? Is the battery replaceable or is it glued in? So now let's talk about common issues people don't really check when buying used laptops. Physical inspection. So when the laptop arrives or when you are in the shop buying a laptop, make sure you check the keyboard and the touchpad. Also check the hinge stiffness. Is the hinge really steady whenever you are moving it up and down? Check that 
to make sure that the hinge is really safe. Also, check the port. Make sure that all the ports inside are working. So make sure you plug something into the port. Make sure that you have all the ports on each laptop are working well. So plug something to it to make sure that all the ports are working. Speaker and mic. Make sure that you play something through the speaker because some of these speakers are faulty. They can play the sound right, but it's not really clear. So make sure that you take the speakers and the microphone by doing some Zoom calls or doing some video calls. If you don't have, you can't do video calls, you can just use the camera on the windows to just test the microphone on the laptop to make sure that the microphone is working right. Heat and noise. Older laptops may need terminal paste or fan cleanup. Use tools like HW Info or Cortem to check CPU and GPU temperature. Constant fan noise equals red flag. These are commonly seen in gaming used laptops, so make sure you check all those things. So where do you buy a used laptop without wasting your money? The best option is local repair shop. These shops actually test these machines before putting them on sale. They test the machine, offer support, and you can even return it to them if you have any issues. A quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Utech System. Utech System is a local shop in Accra, Ghana. So if you are located in Africa, like Accra, Ghana, and you are looking for a used laptop to buy, they actually provided these laptops that I'm reviewing here. And they can help you get the perfect laptop for your specific need. All their laptops are discounted. So I'm going to leave their details in the description. You can reach out to them and mention Albert Unbox for a special discount of 20%. The next good place to buy use laptop is online but go with caution ebay is a great place if you do these things one check for seller's feedback aim for at least 99 to 100 percent make sure you have at least 30 to 60 days return window so always prefer listings with actual photos wallet photos over stock images or photos from the browns website so if you're buying online like ebay once the laptop arrives here's what you should do immediately especially when you are in the return window one functionality test plug the charger in and test every port test keyboard trackpad screen and check the speakers so ssd health use crystal dex info to check the ssd age write cycle and hours used you can actually request these things before you buy the laptops if you are buying online, if you are buying from a local shop, ask for the SSD health by checking the cycle counts of the SSD and the hours use of the SSD. These things are very important to make sure that you are buying a machine that is going to last you for long. So here's what to avoid. One, use gaming laptop. They overheat easily and their batteries are often pricey. Two, a consumer laptop with soldered RAM or plastic hinges. You might be asking, what about Max? MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros are excellent, reliable, eco-friendly choice. Buying these MacBooks, especially with the M-series ones, M1, M2, M3, M4, they are all great choice if you are planning to buy used MacBooks. Concerning Macs, here's what you need to be cautious of. One, there are no upgrades, so getting a used MacBook which has an 8GB RAM or 16GB RAM, but you need it for high performance taxes. Here are some of the things you need to consider when getting the Mac. You need to be cautious that with Macs, it's very difficult to upgrade, especially with the new Mac, MacBooks M1, M2, M3. Upgrading the RAM is difficult, so be cautious of that. Avoid 8 gigs, maybe 16 gig is very okay, you can use it for long. And the screens too are very expensive, so you need to be very cautious with the screen whenever you are buying a Mac. Make sure that the screen doesn't have any issues. Buying a used laptop can save you hundreds of dollars, save the planet, and also give you incredible performance. If you inspect it carefully, buy it from the right place and know what to avoid. I hope this video saved you from making the wrong purchase. If it helped, please give it a thumbs up and also comment below. Let me know the laptop you are trying to purchase and where maybe I can give you my professional advice for free. Do want to subscribe to this channel if this video was helpful to you. If you need a breakdown of any specific model that I've, I have here, please drop it in the comments below or any specific model that you are planning to purchase. Drop it in the comments and I'm going to make a video on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.